a very warm day everyone welcome to virtual learning classes of slv em school so in this video we are going to learn about the poem in our class 7 home they brought her warrior dead last two stanzas stanza 3 stole a maiden from her place lightly to the warrior stepped took the face cloth from the face yet she neither moved nor wept because the woman still refuses to grieve one of the young women present walks up to the dead man and removes the cloth that was covering his face perhaps she thought that his wife was unable to grieve because she still could not believe or accept that this dead man was her husband the people around the widow clearly believe that the woman ought to grieve thus because she will not show any signs of grief when the people speak of him this particular friend shows her the face of her late husband hoping that this will help the woman to break out of her state of shock and be able to grieve properly stanza 4 rose a nurse of 90 years set his child upon her knee like summer tempest came her tears sweet my child i live for thee with this stanza of home they brought her warrior dead the speaker finally reveals to the readers the reason for the widow's silence she has not been unfeeling or careless of her husband's death she has not even been in shock or disbelief like the people around her thought rather she has been paralyzed with fear she did not think about her own pain at losing her husband rather she thought of the poor child it was not until she saw the child's nurse sit the child upon her knee that she burst forth in uncontrollable tears that came like a summer tempest she cried out sweet my child i live for thee and the final summary is hope the bought her warrior dead truly reveals the heart of a mother when the dead warrior was brought home the people expected her to behave as they would expect a widow to behave but the widow was also a mother and her mothering instincts led her to think of the child before she could think of herself while she looked at the dead man before her she was not in shock or disbelief she was not unmoved or unfeeling she was struck with fear for her child who would grow up fatherless fatherless the widow turned to see her child and cried out her promise that she would take take care of the child and leave for the child it was at that moment that the widow was able to grieve for her own loss once she had determined herself to leave for her child and to shield and protect the child even though the child no longer had a father then she was able to think about her own loss and let out her grief in tears